Hi, in this video, we are going to do a simple calculus problem. Well, maybe not simple, depends on how good your calculus is, but it's not super crazy or anything. We're going to find a derivative. And I guess this is considered perhaps a little bit harder than your typical derivative. So we have f of x equals, we have a bracket, x squared plus one cubed plus x, and then another bracket cubed. So to do this problem, we're going to use something called the chain rule. So let's go ahead and carefully work through it and apply the chain rule. Let's switch colors here. Let's try this one here, nice and bright. So let's just go ahead and do it. F prime of X equals, all right, so we've got all of this stuff here being raised to the third power. So it's something to a power. So whenever you have something to a power, you can just apply what's called the chain rule. The chain rule says you basically take the derivative of the outside, which is just this power function, right? Something cubed. And then you evaluate it at the inside. Then you multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So let's just do it one step at a time. Taking the derivative of the outside, we're going to bring down that three. So we have three bracket, leave the inside untouched. X squared plus one cubed plus X bracket. And then you subtract one from the exponent, so you get two. So times, so again, so far all we've done is we've taken the derivative of this outside function, right? We brought down the three, left the inside untouched, subtract one from the exponent. Then you go to the inside function, that's what you do next. So times the derivative of the inside function. So in this case, our inside function is this here, okay, just this piece here. So we're gonna differentiate that. So we'll bring down that three, so we have three, I'm gonna put a parentheses here just to add clarity. Parentheses x squared plus one. Subtract one from the exponent squared times the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of x squared is two x, the derivative of one is zero. Plus the derivative of x, which is one. Boom, right? Let me just go over that again because it is a lot to think about. And when you're first learning the chain rule, it's a little bit tricky. You just wanna always keep taking the derivative of your inside function, okay? That's that's the goal. So let's do it again, just from the beginning. Taking the derivative of the outside, we bring down that three, so it's here. Subtract one from the exponent, we leave the inside untouched. Then times the derivative of this inside, you bring down that three, you get x squared plus one squared, and then times the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of x squared is two x, boom. Derivative of one is zero, it doesn't matter. And then plus, plus the derivative of x is one. And that's it, we can just leave it like this. However, no we can't, no we can't, I take that back. Let's go ahead and multiply this three and this two x. So continuing in this fashion, we have, uh, let's see, f prime of x, it's a funny f, it's because uh, the pen I'm writing with hit my microphone and it kind of messed me up. Equals, not, not the best uh, recording setup, <laughs> so bracket, uh, parentheses, x squared plus one cubed plus x, and all of this is squared. And then parentheses, here we can multiply this two x and this three, so we have six x, parentheses, x squared plus one squared, and then we just have that plus one, and then a parentheses there. And that would be the final answer, which uh, is the correct answer. That would be it. That would be the derivative of f of x. So a little bit of work. Uh, it does take some thinking and some practice. And again, you just always want to keep going to the inside function and continuing uh, to take the derivative of the inside. If you found any value in this content, feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to. If not, that's okay too. Also, if you want to learn mathematics, I have courses on Udemy, but check out my website. Use the links from there. You'll get a low price, mathsorcer.com or freemathvids.com. Again, mathsorcer.com. I've got calculus courses and all kinds of math courses and stuff with assignments and videos, et cetera. In any case, the most important thing you should take away from this video is when you're using the chain rule, just keep taking those derivatives of the outside and then just always focus on the inside function. Just keep differentiating until you can't anymore. I hope it's been helpful and hopefully you've learned some mathematics. Keep doing math.